hello guys in this video I'm going to show you that how to delete a record from a file uh, in the C program so far we have discussed that how to read a record how to update a record how to write a record into a file in the C program using the structure if you haven't watched that go ahead and watch that so that you can have the knowledge that how to update read delete etc uh, sorry delete I'm going to discuss it here and the rest of the stuff I've already discussed so you can go ahead and I, I will I'm going to give the link of all those video in the description so that you can go and check out uh, so first of all first of, so in this video I'm going to show you that how to uh, delete a record uh, in a C program okay so first let me see that what are the data available in what are the records which are available in our C program uh, so for that run this program which is read compile and run Here we have three records out there uh, in the read.c. So let's say we want to delete a record which of of roll number twelve. Okay. So first, uh, let me delete a uh, write a program to how to delete that. Okay. So it's quite uh, same to update, but uh, I'm not going to write any stuff after reading that. So first, we have to include. S T D I O dot H next we have to include then we need a structure of that student so for that we just copy and paste that because this need to be same this is structure we are using okay Next, uh, our main program starts here. So here, first we are going to declare two file pointer uh, of fp1, comma, which will be pointing to our two of two files, so which is one is copy copy dot dat and another one is our main file which is stu dot dat uh, so for that first and another one we have to take the struct and student s1 okay um, here we are we are going to store the data uh, of the student that we want to delete uh, so uh, next uh, we are going to take the uh, store the ID in one ID variable which is of int type then we are going to ask the user that enter sorry that should be roll number with a better name uh, roll number then we are going to ask the user that enter the roll number we want to delete Okay, then we are going to scan that scan up person D person D. Then we are going to pass here address of that roll number. Okay, so next uh, first we are going to make a uh, make our pointer pointing towards the file which are stu dot dat uh, which is in the same directory. So we can do that like F open and name of our file stu dot dat. Uh, we are going to open it using read mode, read plus mode, and another one is fp1. This one is fp1, sorry, and another one is fp2. And here we are going to open our uh, sub uh, helper file which is which will, which will help us to delete the delete the record okay so again this uh, name should be copy dot dat okay and we are going to open it using append plus mode main uh, mode and then we are going to check something that if 
fp1 is equal to null because we are going to open it first then we are going to uh, display a message to the user that can't open file you can display anything and then exit after it we have to exit our program okay next next we are going to create a while loop and where we are going to read the record f read and then the first argument we, uh, is address of that student which is s1 and then size size of the st st structure of the student struct uh, structure of the student then the next thing we are going to pass here is uh, how many records are the fixed one then the file pointer which is pointing towards our that file which is fp1 and then then we are going to check if uh, s1 dot uh, rule not equal to our id which we have taken from the uh, sorry rule which we have taken from the user if it is not equal then we are going to write all the stuffs in into our copy the dat which is your helper file okay so we are just going to write f write and here so first we are going to pass the address of s1 next we are going to pass the size of str struct student then we are going to tell one records then we are going to tell the file pointer with, uh, in which we are going to write that so that's fp2 it's done here after that uh, it will write all the records except that roll number into our file means our file is deleted but after that we have to free the memory uh, so that it will not ca cause any memory leak so for that f P one first you have to free that and then again F close and F P two. After that, uh, after freeing, uh, after releasing all the memory, we have to do something because we have to uh, maintain the name of that name, the name of that file which is stereo dat. So we have we will use a trick here which is first remove that old file which is stu dot dat first we have to remove that okay and then we are going to rename our existing file which is copy dot dat with stu dot dat so we have to remove our copy.dat file with str.dat means after deleting our copy.dat file will be the file which you want to delete okay uh, from which you want to delete the file so it is just creating an illusion um, hope you got to understand what I'm trying to tell here okay then we can simply print that uh, uh, record deleted successfully record we deleted successfully and then you can return from here return zero then it's all done save that but let me first check if it all is okay or not yeah 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 all is okay so first let me see that what are the records available in our file then we are going to delete accordingly so here are the files so I'm going to delete this with roll number 12 name is John you can see or you can delete this one 11 name is Rohit this one is unique so I'm going to delete this one 
rule number 11 name is Rohit okay so I'm going to read the record with the rule number 11 okay so Yeah, you can see the record deleted successfully. And if you can just see here, one file and run. You can see here rule number 12 is deleted. Okay, uh, after 11, this is 12 was deleted. But I think I was about to delete this one, but I have deleted the wrong one. So let me delete 11. Okay. I have choice, chosen wrong one. Let me choose 11. I was about to delete that one. Hit enter. Now that one was also deleted. You can see here. You can see here 11 is also deleted. Likewise, you can also delete last one also. Which is 13. That one is also deleted means our file is empty right now. Our file is empty. All the items are deleted. So, hope you understand what uh, I am trying to tell you the, that how to delete uh, uh, how to delete all the records or uh, a single record uh, using C program. Okay. Uh, this is a structural method, so this will be very beneficial if you are it is any any kind of student manual software for your college uh, uh, assignment or something like that so this will be much more beneficial if you are trying to design something like management system hotel manager system in C language so you can store all the records in a structural way means like this one you can make uh, many structures like this one like a one is a student uh, likewise if you are designing something like a student manager system so you can uh, uh, may create a structure of student, a structure of teacher, or something like that, and you can operate that uh, accordingly, like this. Okay, you can create a file and you can delete, update, and all the such stuff like that. You can do it easily. Okay, uh, hope you understand that. So, ending this video here, and if you like this video, do it a do it a like, and share it with your friends. And in case if you are new here, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you will never miss any update so thanks for watching this video